Well, the Balfour Declaration is a decision by the British cabinet issued on November 2nd, 1917, by which Britain committed to doing all it could to facilitate the establishment of a Jewish national home in Palestine. It may even be said to be the first document that ties nationality and peoplehood to a territory as justification um, for an act by a state. The British were part of a wartime alliance. It would have been unthinkable for them to have issued a commitment regarding territory that was being conquered from an enemy without the agreement and the acquiescence of its allies. Well, I'm going to read to you the Cambon letter, a high figure in the French foreign ministry. It's dated June the 4th, 1917. It would be a deed of justice and of reparation to assist by the protection of the Allied powers in the renaissance of the Jewish nationality in that land from which the people of Israel were exiled so many centuries ago. The French government, which entered this present war to defend a people wrongfully attacked and which continues the struggle to assure victory of right over might, can but feel sympathy for your cause, the triumph of which is bound up with that of the Allies. I am happy to give you herewith such assurance. Sokolov also met with Pope Benedict XV and received from him what one might say was a kind of a blessing in which uh, the Pope said that we will be good neighbors. And then in Washington, uh, Louis Brandeis approached Woodrow Wilson and he extracted from Wilson a secret agreement to support the Balfour Declaration. Wilson even saw the actual text of the Balfour Declaration. Now it had been clear to the Zionists that if there wasn't buy-in, certainly from the French and the Americans, there would be no British commitment. So in a way, the Balfour Declaration is much more than a British declaration. It's an allied declaration. And at a time when there was no United Nations, no League of Nations, the consensus of the Allies was all there was by way of international legitimacy. And uh, so the British knew when they issued it that they weren't suddenly going to be contradicted out of Paris or Washington. Quite the opposite, they would be supported. The diplomatic efforts were made to get a Japanese statement in support, and one was achieved. Then there, was, then there were the independent states of Asia at the time, it was China and Thailand, Siam at the time. And both of them gave um, favorable notice of the Balfour Declaration. So it can be re regarded as the first step in the international legitimation of a Jewish state. The position of the Palestinians from the day the Balfour Declaration was issued was that Jews have no right to Palestine. Not a single immigrant, not a single centimeter of sovereign territory was due to the Jews. It's ironic because if you talk to Palestinians today, they will say that they have rights to Palestine until the nth generation will have the right. This is precisely, though, the situation of the Jews. They left as refugees, and now unto the nth generation, they maintain a memory of this place and their rights. It helped that they had a book. And in that book, it was all written. And so even when they were sitting in Poland or Russia, they still prayed for rain at the time when rain should fall in the Holy Land. The Palestinian refusal to accept that right is exemplified by their attitude towards the Balfour Declaration. It's not just a rejection of the right of Israel to a state. In 1929, when the Arabs first committed pogroms against the Jews here, their position was zero Jewish immigration because there were zero Jewish rights. And any Palestinian Arab today who says about the Balfour Declaration that it warrants an apology and isn't just a part of history, which you may or may not regret, but warrants an apology is saying that Jews have no right to be here. So it would be wrong to conclude that the Balfour Declaration is the birth certificate of the State of Israel. Israel's Declaration of Independence is the birth certificate of the State of Israel. The Balfour Declaration made a promise. The British only partially kept the promise of the Balfour Declaration. The Jews kept the rest of that promise by their own actions.